Hey, problem solvers, and welcome to writing. Um, congratulations, everyone, because at this point, you all should be getting pretty close to finishing up that right, right, right stage of your women in government project, which is so exciting. And I'm really happy for you guys. You worked so hard, and I'm really excited to see how these books turn out. Um, I am going to get into today a little bit about what the revision stage looks like, right? Because after right, right, right comes, you've got to revise. So um, let's quickly review the checklist for the right, right, right stage so that you know um, when you are ready to move on. And then after we review what I'm looking for in the right, right, right stage, we can move into what I'm looking for in the revision stage, which I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited about. We're like, the, the finish line for this project is in sight. We're almost there, guys. All right, so let's take a look. Right, right, right. I have pictures on every page. That one's important, and we're gonna talk a lot about that today. I have words on every page. I have a title, and I have my name on the front cover. Okay, don't forget this. I have a word on every page should be a full paragraph on every page. I know you guys are capable of it. I'm going to ask for, I'm gonna reach for the stars here and really push you guys to do your best work. So I'm looking for one paragraph on each page. Um, so I know you're all still working on your typing. Once you're done with the typing, you can move into illustrations, okay? Cool. Once you have illustrations down on your page, once you have your um, cover, which I know a lot of you already do, um, then you are ready to move on to revision. So let's look at what that looks like. Okay, revision. You've got to revise, which means make it better. Actually, guys, this is an important point. Don't forget. Yeah, I'm going to even stop sharing because this is so important. I want you to focus on me and me only. There are two final steps before the golden step, before publishing your book, revision and editing. And they are very different. What do you think that big difference between revision and editing is? Revision is make it better. So we're gonna be adding things to it. We're going to be taking away things that don't really make sense maybe. Um, we're going to make sure that our illustrations are the best that they can be. We're making it better. Then editing is fix all the things. So when we edit, that's when we go back and make sure that everything is spelled correctly, that we have full sentences, that we have complete paragraphs, that all of our information makes sense all of that good stuff. So revision, editing, two different steps, two different processes, processes, processes. You get it. All right. So let's take a look back at the revision checklist, shall we? Cool. So once you are done with the right, right, right stage, you move into got to revise, make it better. So first thing we're going to do is add details to my words. We're going to make sure that we pad our writing with a bunch of adjectives to really paint a picture for our reader. I see here that this student in the example said watermelons are red and black. And then they added in the word bright. Watermelons are bright red and black. We're going to talk more about that next week. But the next check is what I want to talk about today. I have four star illustrations on every page. Yeah, I really don't want to accept, um, accept you know, illustrations that you don't put your full effort into. So I want a four star illustration on every page, front to back, cover to cover. 
What does that mean? Let's find out. <laughs> uh, like most things this year, I've got a handy dandy checklist for how to make a four star illustration. So you see, you'll see here a one star picture, one color, no details, lots of white space. Okay, then they added a little color, two star illustration, no details, lots of white space. You'll see the three stars, more details, true colors, not so much white space. And then the four star, lots of color, many details, not very much white space. Does that make sense? So I'm going to show you the drawing that the illustration that I made while writing my book about Shirley Chisholm. So once again, I'm going to zoom in with myself. Um, you guys, I I expect you guys are going to draw your illustrations on paper. I did mine. Um, um, oh. <laughs> I forgot to beat my iPad. I did mine on the iPad. Hi, everyone. Um, just because it's easier to show you guys. But feel free to um, just do it on a separate piece of paper because that way, if you do it on a separate piece of paper, A, if you need to edit your writing, you can absolutely do that without sacrificing your picture. And B, we can use computer magic to put them together when we're ready. All right, so check out my iPad screen. All right, here it is. My page about Shirley Chisholm was about her family, about her parents and her three younger siblings. So I drew her and then I drew her parents and her three younger siblings. How many stars do you think this illustration is worth? This is a one star illustration. There's one color, there's a lot of white space, there's no detail. How can we make this into a four star illustration? Hmm. Well, first off, I remember the four star illustration list said that there is very little white space on the paper. So I'm gonna go ahead, and again, you guys are just gonna do this with crayons or colored pencils, whatever you have. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add a background to my drawing. Come on. There we go. Oops. Got some grass going on. And then I'll do a sky. Whoops, not a red sky, a blue sky. You know what, that's more purple. And it did say on the checklist to use true colors. So I'm gonna choose a different blue. So that. See, with just those two colors, I've got a background. I'm going to fix up the green a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. Maybe I'll even put in the sun. Totally up to you. Now what am I going to do? Am I just going to, I want to draw pretty much the same thing I did in one, my one star illustration, but I want to make sure that's a four star illustration of her family. So am I going to go ahead and just do stick figures again? No, I am not. <laughs> I'm going to try my best 
to make it as true to life as possible. So, <clears throat> oops, no, that's too stick figure. Do my neck. There we go. Hands. And I'll do it for everyone. You guys can see that I'm not like a trained artist or anything. <laughs> you know, I'm not a professional. As long as you're trying your best, it's all I can ask for. So then the three siblings. Doo -doo -doo. I don't know, I'm not gonna put in faces yet because I want to make sure to use true colors, right? Oops, because it's not a giraffe. And then maybe a baby. Now I've got my family, or <laughs> Shirley's family, I should say. Okay, now we want to use true colors. So I'm going to try to find something like this for their skin. Because we know that this story is about the first African-American woman who ran for prison. Let's fill in these little gaps here. Remove their hands. Do -do -do. <laughs> We're going to have to give the mom hands. There you go, mom. Alright. You get the idea, right? And then I'll, you know, make it darker and give them all some hair. And I did look up a picture of what she looked like in real life, a photograph to use as reference. Um, so they can make sure it's as true to life as possible. I also forgot to color in their necks, but I will do that. And then maybe some facial features. Cute. All right, we'll go back up to the other brown and we will color their necks, their giraffe necks. Because somehow they all got very long necks. What's that? <laughs> It's getting better. I would call this a three-star illustration. Um, I'm going to give them each a uh, color of their shirt. Actually, here, I think if I just do this. Nope. Eh, sure. We'll give mommy a yellow dress. How's that? Nice. Um, we'll give Shirley some blue jeans. No? Okay, we'll pull her some blue jeans. You guys get the idea. I'm not going to have you. Uh, sit here and watch me color this whole thing because I think you get it. What do you think? Do you understand what I'm looking for? Um, so once this image is complete, actually, you know what? I'm just going to pause the video and show you what it looks like when it's done.
And I'm done. What do you guys think? Is this a three star illustration? Let's go really quick and look at the checklist. Lots of color, many details. Yeah, I even added a little label in there. Not very much white space. Yeah, I don't think I left any white space. I would call this a four star illustration. So this is what I'm looking for on each page, guys. It is going to take some time, absolutely, but I know each and every one of you are capable of it. So with that, I think it's time to um, head back on over to Zoom and get to work. Remember, you don't need to worry at all about illustrations until you're done typing up your book. So this may be um, you know, a few days in the future for some of you, but now you know what I'm expecting and we're ready to move on. Sound good? All right, cool. I will see you guys soon on Zoom. Bye.